Hello and welcome to part one of the Doom Builder training series. In today's video, we will be covering game configurations in Doom Builder. Alright, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and go over to the Tools menu at the top and go to Game Configurations. To the left, you can see a list of engines that Doom Builder 2 supports. And what we're going to do right now is set up the correct IWAD configuration for each engine. So to the left, let's click on Doom 2 and then go to this Add Resource button down here. Basically what we're doing right now is loading textures and flats from either a WAD file, a directory, or a PK3 file. So I'm going to go to the From WAD File tab and hit this little folder icon and locate the Doom 2 iWAD. Here it is. You can do this for as many engines as you like, but I'm just going to leave it at Doom 2 for now. Next, let's go to the Node Builder tab. What the Node Builder does is it builds the basic structures in your map and each uh, node builder is uh, has its own uh, pros and cons but I'm just going to leave it at Zen node normal and Zen node fast for now but you can change it if you like you might see a difference you might not I'm just going to leave it at the defaults for now next let's head over to the testing tab this is what we will use to test our map so let's go over here to this folder icon and locate our source port I use GZDoom but you can use ZDoom, JDoom, Doom Legacy, Skulltag or even good old vanilla Doom Underneath, you can modify the difficulty in which your map plays in. I'm going to change it to Ultra Violence for now. And underneath that, you can customize the parameters, but I'm just going to leave these. Next, let's head over to the Textures tab. Doom Builder organizes your textures and flats into categories. This makes it easy to find what you're looking for when mapping. There are 16 categories right now, but we can go down here and add our own category, or even edit a current category at our own wish. But that's enough about textures. Let's head over here to the Modes tab. Here you can select the editing modes that you wish to use in this configuration. You can also enable or disable modes that you don't feel you're going to use. You can even add your own modes by using plugins. I'm just going to leave all these enabled for now, so I'm just going to hit OK. And we're finished setting up Doom Builder. This concludes Part 1 to the Doom Builder training series. In Part 2, we will begin creating our map. Thanks for watching.